This video is brought to you by HelloFresh. How the future does dinner. Where has all the time gone? It's almost February and in a few short weeks, the first major smartphone announcement of 2020 happens. As it happens, it's Samsung that's first out of the gate. And because of it, they kind of set the stage for what smartphones of 2020 will be like. There are plenty to come later in February with Mobile World Congress rolling around, but first let's zoom in on Samsung's unpacked 2020 announcements. Will they launch the Galaxy S20 and the Galaxy Z Flip? The most obvious announcement coming on February 11th in San Francisco is the next Galaxy S smartphone. History dictates that this phone should be called the Galaxy S11. But reports suggest Samsung will break tradition and go straight to the Galaxy S20, which means that moving forward, the Galaxy S line will match the year that it is launched and sold. So Galaxy S20 in 2020, S21 in 2021, S22 in 2022, so on and so forth. This year, expect three variants, the S20, the S20 Plus, and the S20 Ultra. How are each of these phones different? Let's take a look at the rumored spec sheet. As per usual, size will be the primary difference between the S20 and the S20 Plus. The Plus model is obviously gonna be the larger of the two, though specs and features will be more or less the same. This year, it's rumored that Samsung will be offering a third higher end model the S20 Ultra, and it will not only have a larger screen and better specs overall, it might come with a 108 megapixel main camera. All phones will have 5G support. Design-wise, the phone won't look too different from previous models. Samsung maintains its design ID with rounded corners, although it appears it will be doing away with the curved edge displays it popularized many years ago. Up front, all three phones will have a punch hole in the middle of the device for the selfie camera, just like on the Note 10. And on the back, a very large rectangular camera module flushed on the top left-hand side of the device. These leaked renders show pastel pink and pastel blue color options apart from black. Let me know in the comment section below if these colors excite you and if you could choose, what color would you like the Galaxy S20 to come in? A big trend that we saw last year and a little bit the year before that were smartphones with displays that had fast refresh rates. It makes the swiping animations all buttery smooth, almost hyper-realistic. We first saw 120 hertz screens on gaming phones like the Razer phone and the ROG phone, and then 90 hertz displays from the likes of OnePlus and Google. And it's rumored that the S20 will have a 120 hertz display, which is pretty exciting because Samsung is known to make some of the best smartphone displays in the market. It's said that users will be allowed to pick between the standard 60 hertz and the higher 120 hertz setting. Additionally, the Galaxy S20 Plus will have a 20 by nine aspect ratio and a 3200 by 1440 resolution. Last December in Maui, Qualcomm showed us their 3D Sonic Max technology. Basically, a larger surface area for unlocking your phone. So instead of this tiny circle, you can put your finger down anywhere on the square. That means it'll be easier to blindly plop your finger onto the screen to unlock your device. It's unclear if this feature will come to the entire lineup, but given that under-display fingerprint scanners are here to stay, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Of course, what's a new Samsung smartphone without a great smartphone camera? The S20 is rumored to have three, four if you count the time of flight sensor like on the Note 10 Plus, which should provide better cutouts in portrait mode. What's most exciting though is that the higher end Galaxy S20 Ultra will sport a 108 megapixel main camera. Sure, this isn't new, we saw it from Xiaomi late last year, but don't forget that the sensor used on that phone was designed and created by Samsung. It looks like the one that will be on the Ultra will be a second generation model of that same sensor. Plus with Samsung's software expertise, it should be a killer camera. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably already know I've just moved into my own apartment here in New York and I can't wait to show you around as I build my techie smart 
home. Now, one of the first things I focused on was the kitchen because, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I love to cook. But because of my busy schedule, I really don't have the time to think about what to eat, to meal prep, sometimes to even do my groceries, which is why I was super excited when HelloFresh reached out and asked to sponsor this video. I've known about them for a while now. My friend Carlos in London actually made me HelloFresh meals when I visited him a few years ago. All you have to do is sign up online and pick a plan. There are low calorie meals, vegetarian, family friendly, if you have to feed picky kids. I'm gonna go with meat and veggies. In a few days, this box shows up to your doorstep. Inside this box are pre-planned meals curated by professional chefs. You get these large recipes with pretty pictures and easy to follow instructions. Ooh, chicken sausage and spinach ricotta ravioli. I think I'm having this tonight. The ingredients are pre-portioned, so there's less food waste. And this is very important to me, packaging is made from recyclable or recycled materials. I think I should literally start my own cooking show. HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving. Of course, none of this matters unless the food tastes great. So, moment of truth. Bon appetit. That hits the spot. If you'd like to give HelloFresh a try, visit their website, hellofresh.com, and use the code GADGETMATCH10 to join their New Year's sale for 10 free meals including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com with the code GADGETMATCH10. Last year at Unpacked, it was the first time we heard of the Galaxy Fold, and rumors have it that Samsung is gearing up for a foldable flip phone, which means unlike the original Fold, the upcoming Galaxy Z Flip, as its name suggests, will flip like this. I don't know about you, but that is the kind of foldable phone that I'd be down to use. And that was a quick roundup of Galaxy S20 rumors. The event is happening real soon and we'll be there. So to make sure you don't miss any of our coverage, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.